Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your mowers have practically built Stir themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Merv and welcome to part 5, the very end of this thing. Uh, we're going to put the interior together and get it painted and decaled. We're going to finish up all of the uh, detail parts and get everything together. There's a couple of these segments that we actually filmed at uh, MRS Live that will not be a, a part of this, but anyway, you'll see the finished product, so here we go. So the next thing that uh, we are going to be working on is the rest of the painting rest of the major painting that is. So I'm going to take I'm going to take and figure out what's wrong with my airbrush here. Okay. Got a little leak. Okay, I'm going to take my um, Mission Models black primer. It's something you can get at MRS Hobbies. And this stuff is awesome. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to take my little cocktail stirrer compliments of um, Starbucks. It's great. I uh, spend $2.50 to get these, and I get a big cup of coffee for free. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's pretty neat. Okay. A couple of drops of their thinner, their air, his airbrush thinner, and then we should be good to go. Get my Iwata primed and ready here. I know this comes black, but um, we're going to paint it. Because we are going to be doing some weathering, de detailing, you know, that kind of stuff to it. So. Yeah, we don't want to just do it to the, to the bare plastic, so... black yeah and then I drop it on the there you go that's always good drop it on the table um, I need to mix up a little bit more I'm almost out of thinner okay well let me go grab my thinner real quick my okay, now we're thinner. gonna paint the interior it's kind of translucent this this white so I want to make sure it's painted on both sides out to do here in the airbrush. Okay, we're going to paint the interior tub because my carpet is going to be black. I'm not having a white carpet in this thing. And I want my... Um, the areas like where the seats meet the wall and all that, it, there's going to be a, it needs to have some black to it, so. Okay. So there's that. And we'll continue on with the seats and the, uh, well, let's do the seats next. Now I am going to add some of the polyurethane um, I forget what it's called anyway it's the polyurethane additive that you add to the mission models paint and I'm just gonna put two drops three drops in with what I've already got here there's not a lot left this causes the paint to have a hard shell to it but the other thing it does is it gives it a slight sheen which is really nice especially for the dashboard which is going to be, I'm going to try to get that semi-gloss look to it. And, 
Yeah, that works. Just spray some of the rest of it out here on the seat. Make sure they get covered good. Yeah, I think we're good. Actually, I'm going to hit my uh, my door panels with this, the top of the door panel. The door panels usually have kind of a semi-gloss look to them. So, aha, there. Okay, back with the next color. Okay, so I removed the dashboard, and I'm, we're just going to go ahead and uh, use... Uh, what are we going to use? Yeah, we are going to use, I'll show you in a minute. It's the white primer from uh, Mission Models. Hey, Rocco. We're going to come back and brush paint the uh, the carpet black. I don't know what I was thinking, <laughs> saying that earlier, but yeah, I'm going to be brush painting that black, so the carpet that is. Okay, so there's our interior tub, and I think it turned out pretty good with this paint. Seats look okay. Yep. Okay. On to the next step. Right, so let's put the decals on the seat. You can see I've already... There's so many extra decals with this thing. It's, it's wonderful. Um, it gives me a lot of different options. And I went ahead and put this uh, Coke bottle and have a Coke in the back uh, window shelf. Just thought it would be fun because you'll see that through the back window. And now, remember, I had to cut the decals really really close really really close so without further ado we soak them here and we're going to put them actually what I'm gonna do because I want remember it's got that coating on the top what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down some um, microsol first and I'm going to put the decal on so at least the part that does not have any um, of that bonding agent up top. So in other words, some of the raw decal can actually get um, this decal solvent. So my chances of being able to soften the decal are greater. Great, great, great. But you can see the pattern on this seat, and we definitely want to try and get it to snug down in there as, as best as we can. We are going to need a lot of decal solvent, especially with this um, with this bonding agent we put on the top, so that we could actually have a decal that wouldn't fall apart. Okay, I would have used decal solvent even if I had really good decals. I have to work pretty fast because this stuff will start to soften that decal. It will start to hold it into place. Yeah. 
think I got it where I want it. Yay! Get some more microsol on it. Try to hold it down in the front for a moment so it doesn't curl back up, hopefully. Okay, now let's work on the back. to where I want it there. This one I just have to move over a little teeny bit. There we go. that wasn't uh, top coated with the bonding agent I probably would have had those just zing right to melt right together okay. nice decal solvent try to get get it down into the cracks there to keep working on the inside of the decal down on the top so that we don't get any curling we hope. Just go back over those. Okay. There you go. Next step. Okay, so here it is with the carpet and the step that you don't see is I went ahead and brush painted the floor black, put a little bit of uh, white glue on it and then some of that flocking from testers, the black flocking for the carpet. Uh, let it dry cleaned it off there, scraped some of the area, put the front seats in, and well you see the rest of the detail painting on it. That's something we did at MRS and so it's not something that uh, we did it live there. Anyway, here is the dashboard. Uh, this is the first coat of white that I put on the particular areas that are white so it's going to need one more coat but not too bad looking with those decals in there and you can see here well yeah looks pretty good in that interior. Next, we put in the glass, and I just attached it with some um, Tamiya Ultra Thin Cement at the attachment points, and everything worked out good, as far as I was concerned there. Uh, the front grill, well, yeah, it's an MPC grill. I did have some uh, detail painting to try and get it to look um, proper, kind of that silver color uh, on the cone, yet chrome around the outside. And here is the body, the glass, and the interior all together looking pretty good. Now, as far as the chassis, that again was another live show we did at MRS, so I don't have any of that available. But the one thing I can tell you is I did put some flat clear on my rims to uh, kind of knock down the sheen. Okay, well let's look at how this charger turned out, shall we? Let's do the, the old walk around. So you can see where we've got the, uh, the wash in the door panels here to help that door look, uh, look like there's a door panel there. How about that? The, uh, the wheels that we chose to go with and how they turned out, not too bad. Um, fairly uh, good rendition of the actual uh, rims. And these tires, I think, are fine. Oh, they're all the same. You don't have that big rake, which I like, but um, for just a, a, a drivable charger, I think this, yeah, this looks pretty good. I did add something here on the trunk. You can see the, uh, the case of Coke bottles. This came from my, I think it's a 1937 or 1938 GMC uh, Coke, a Coca-Cola delivery truck in 124 scale. Um, it's one of those uh, die casts and it has a whole bunch of these and I took some of them off using them on different projects but I thought it would be perfect absolutely perfect for this coca-cola charger to have a case of coke sitting on the back yeah that'd, that'd be fun so here you go the back window you can see through the back window and uh, have a coke don't mind if I do I mean that's really getting me thirsty I'll tell you you look on inside and, and, and see the interior 
through the windows very good um it does have that green tint to it but you really can't tell just just looking at the the window which i thought was interesting i thought it'd be more pronounced but that's okay um here's how everything turned out as far as that paint it doesn't have that super high gloss it a lot of guys like to, to do, uh, you know, they'll put that, that glossy coat and all that crap on it. And Okay, I wanted mine to look more realistic, and these cars from the uh, 60s and 70s, I know, I grew up with them, and I know how they look, and they had this nice smooth paint job, They didn't, and they shined, but they didn't have this, you know, overly glossy, you know, show shine to them. And that's not what I was after, I was after kind of a stock look. So, I think I've achieved it here. Yeah, it's still shiny, and yeah, it's smooth, but it's, you know, it doesn't go overboard, at least in my opinion. So, hopefully you like it. And here's our grill and how that turned out. Unfortunately, you know, it's an MPC grill. You know, you can only do so much with it. Same with the taillights. Um, I did everything I could to try and make them accurate. Uh, they turned out pretty good. Uh, of course, the Revell kit has, it's, it's a far better kit. This has no engine in it, remember. This is the curbside. And actually, I wouldn't want to raise the hood on this anyway. I think it looks good just the way it is, just the way it sits. And there's the uh, the underside and how it turned out when it's all complete. Ah, yeah, this is a pretty neat looking model. I'll be honest with you. When I saw that it was a snap together, I thought, uh, no. Curbside, no engine, no. But this is really cool. And, you know... I, it, it's worth the money to me and it's a great part of either a coca-cola collection or it's a great part of a charger collection and i have both so it's 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 a definitely a, a keeper for me uh you can see the uh the license plate there the refresh license plate california refresh and the uh, coca-cola license plate in the front so um all in all i really like the way that this thing turned out and i highly recommend this particular um, this particular kit. Even though mine had the problem with the decals, we were able to fix it. We were able to touch things up and well, I hope you like it. So, and I hope you learned something too. So thanks for joining us folks and we'll see you again soon.